Well, I'm on deck for another whiskey. You can probably guess from this little indication here what whiskey it is that I'm doing. Well, this is part of a series of green spot releases. The Quail's Gate and the other ones that I have had in the past, and I don't think there are any others besides those, would be the um, Chateau Leoville Barton, uh, finished in Chateau Leoville Barton wine casks, uh, and uh, the other one is um, uh, Chateau Montalena uh, wine casks. This one is finished in Pinot Noir wine casks, triple distilled Irish whiskey, celebrating a shared Irish heritage. Quailsgate from the Okanagan Valley. Limited edition, 46% alcohol by volume. And over here, 700 mils. Single pot still, Middleton release. Did I say limited edition? I think I did. Anyway, let's just open this thing up and pull out our bottle of green spot. Single pot still, Pinot Noir, Quail's Gate, limited edition, and here there is a something else. Oh, a whole thing that explains the whole thing. Great, I'll read that at my leisure sometime. But not right now. Nothing else in here? Nope. Uh, no, nothing else in there. Okay. Let's open this Irish whiskey. This single pot still. Irish whiskey finished in Quailsgate Pinot Noir casks. Quailsgate is from the Okanagan Valley, if I didn't mention that before. And uh, Shelter Point did a Quailsgate. Uh, cask finish at one time, if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to check my archives of all those Shelter Point whiskeys that I had tried. This is a real cork. A real thing. Yep. And I'm going to pour me a quick dram. A quick quig size dram. It's about 55 mils approximately. And let's give this a go. I was impressed with the uh, first bottle of um, Chateau Leoville Barton that I had. It just blew me out, blew my socks off. Then I had the uh, Chateau Montalena, which was also good, but not as good. And then I went back and was able to find a, a Chateau Leoville Barton uh, last year, I think it was, uh, at the uh, Premium Spirits release in fall. It's almost a year ago. And uh, it was nowhere near as good as my memory of the first bottle of Chateau Leoville Barton. This is my first bottle of uh, Green Spot uh, finished in Quail's Gate uh, casks from the Okanagan Valley. I'm getting some dark fruits, yes. I'm getting barley, barley malted and unmalted, triple distilled, the wine cask is giving me berries and dark ripe fruits. Ripe dark grapes. It 
some caramel, berries, blackberries, boysenberries, that kind of thing. All the while, I'm getting the distinct the distinct aroma of unmalted barley. Along with the dark fruits. Some vanilla. Because I wouldn't be surprised if the initial maturation was in ex-bourbon barrels. And I was getting some caramel. And I get the dark fruits and the berries. Mm. I think this is going to be a good one. 46% ABV, which is a good drinking strength. And, oh, legs. Look, we got legs. We got some legs. We got legs. Yeah. Legs with big drops on them. Oh, the nose is wonderful. Here's the label once again. And it cost me $99.99 plus $15 in tax. That would be $114.99 plus another 10 cent bottle deposit. So $115.09 since we round up and don't use pennies anymore. $115.10 out the door. Unless, of course, you pay with uh, debit or credit, then it would be $115.09 out the door. But if you pay cash, you pay a penny more, as if it made a difference. It says a bunch of stuff on here. Uh, with oranges, origins rooted in Irish history, two family stories of... Endeavor and enterprise intertwine, and together are the inspiration for a limited edition whiskey, Green Spot Quails Gate. Initially matured in traditional sherry and bourbon casks, Green Spot Quails Gate was then finished in ex Pinot Noir wine casks, adding an exciting new dimension to this single pot still Irish whiskey. Tasting notes. Okay, I'm not going to look at those. I'm just going to taste it. Oh. Oh, that is something wonderful. It's true. Green spot is good to begin with. Aged in bourbon and ex sherry casks. But then you add the Pinot Noir and that gives it more fruitiness. That's where the berries come in, I'm pretty sure. Mmm. Fruity, alkaline, viscous, oily. Coats the mouth with dark fruits and berries.
coats the tongue, coats the mouth. It comes to a dry, fruity finish, as if you had, like, berry jam to eat. That's a fruity berry jam finish. The perfect balance of dark, ripe fruits and berries with that distinct unmalted barley note, both on the nose and on the palate. This is a beautiful whiskey. Definitely worth my $115. I'm going to enjoy this one as it goes down, as the level drops. There's also a minty note to it. I'm just getting that now. That's another sign of a good whiskey is that it changes as you go along and knows it and taste it. Yeah, definitely a minty note with that. Hmm. This is a delicious single pot still, triple distilled Irish whiskey. This is wonderful. This is just right. I very highly recommend it if you can find one, a bottle of this. Mm. Yeah. Definitely up there. There's that mintiness again. Mm. Fine, fine whiskey. Slanchava. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. <laughs> <laughs>